trembling in fear, wetting your britches. And no, it's not a picture of me without a beard, but it is something equally as terrifying. AI! AI technology is advancing at a rapid rate and it's reaching levels only thought possible in science fiction. That experience you just had of your heart sinking from my master class in jump scares is the natural reaction to AI. It's showcased that the flesh is cringe and machines of the future. Pretty much anything humans can do, technology can do better. AI can do better, rather. And that includes entertainment. I have been glued to AI and the entire industry that's bloomed from it for years now. I have been like a moth to a flame following each and every development and new yeah, AI same. product that's come out because it is fascinating and at the same time, a bit startling. Now, I think it's naive for people to write off all AI as evil and saying we should ban AI outright and never pursue it. Guys, I don't think you guys understand it. The things that AI can Can't do without the bullshit fucking uh, filters that they have. Chat, you know when you jailbreak them, okay? You can jailbreak them way harder. And on top of that, on top of that, when you jailbreak the art ones, it's insane. It is busted what it can do. People don't don't get this. When you fully jailbreak it, the, the the actual the interface, okay, without the filters, it's insane. I think that is such a dog shit way of looking at the technology. As with every new innovation, there is good and bad that comes with it. It's some certified goofy goober goofball shit to just write off all of the good things AI can do for humanity and focus instead on only the bad things they can do. Uh, I'm not here to get into the nitty gritty of like the pros and cons of AI. I feel like you should be able to immediately recognize some of the incredible things AI can offer, especially in the medical field. But again, that's not what today's topic is. Today, I want to show you and talk about a viral clip on Twitter that's going around that has to deal with AI in the music industry. You might notice that I sound like Kanye West. No, Yeezy didn't record a voiceover for me for this video. I didn't learn how to do impressions. This is AI. So let me come back to my original voice for a second because this is crazy. The caption of this video says that it'll change the music industry forever, and that's 100% accurate. This technology will for Ever change the entire landscape of the music industry. It's important to realize that AI technology, especially when it comes to voice models, yeah, that was are still sick, very new. And they're already advancing to a point where they're starting to get pretty goddamn convincing. And right now, the main usage is just shit posts like having Joe Biden and Donald Trump playing Overwatch together and experiencing gamer I'll rage and shit. shit. I want to or know making it goofy AI. I noticed that I sound like Kanye West. No, Yeezy didn't record a voiceover for me for this video. I didn't learn how to do impressions. Oh, but guys, guys, it's not even that, this is not even that good. It still has a problem of um, it's dragging. I don't know if you understand. Yes, it's, it's, it's something that that when when I when we start doing the bots for the for uh, TTS, right? A lot of voices are dragging. Uh, uh, they do that. You, you, look at it. Voice over for me for this video. I didn't learn how to do impressions. This is AI. So let me come back to my original uh, voice for a second because this dragging. is crazy. The caption of this video says that it'll change the music industry yeah. forever, and that's one hundred. Trump playing Overwatch together and experiencing gamer rage and shit, or making goofy AI generated tracks. But this technology has huge implications for the whole industry going forward when it comes to music. And it's already advancing very quickly. I made a brief mention of my own AI voice that's been getting used on YouTube pretty often uh, about like three months ago where they had me singing Rap God. And I was like, damn, that sounds pretty good, but you can easily tell that it's AI at some point True. because words get all mumbled and jumbled. It sounds like I'm overdosing on Xanax sometimes. Like, it's clear that it's not perfect, but it can and most likely will be in a relatively short period of time. So in this example with his yay voice filter, you can tell that something's a bit awry there. It doesn't really sound 100% accurate. Yeah, it yeah. sounds a bit glitchy, like something's wrong there. So you can tell it's not actually yay speaking. And he also goes, seconds without mentioning Jewish people, so you know for sure it's not actually okay, yay. But if you're dude, just no. hearing that, you'd be raising an eyebrow. All like, you would have right. to second guess, like, oh, whoa, was that was that actually yay? Now all you have to do is record reference vocals and replace it with a trained model of any musician you like, which is exactly what I did. I found this Kanye-style beat on YouTube. Yeah. I wrote eight bars, and I'm gonna record them now, and then I'm gonna have AI Kanye replace me. So before showing you the results of that, I would like to mention that he did covers of popular songs with this Kanye voice model. And they sound very convincing. Even knowing it's AI, it, it is pretty fucking convincing. Now, how this affects the music industry should be obvious, and he explains it there. You don't really need the artist to come in and do full songs anymore, and they don't even have to write the music themselves or perform it. They can just give you reference. Wait, shit. Yeah, that's just a good point, then. Wait, artists already didn't even fucking make their own beats and write their own lyrics. So now, they don't have counting. to do the, if they can just record, daily juice yo, what if you go to the studio for like, for a total of like maybe 40 hours, and record every possible thing, a reference box, of everything that their voice could do, in terms of like, syllabus and words and letters, and then, they do it while yelling, while whispering, while dragging, while ch do everything for like 40 hours, and then they're like, alright man, peace out brother, I'm selling, I'm selling you my, my my voice for like fucking one billion dollars boom and then they do whatever they want with it vocals and uh, right now there's services where if you just have a minute of uninterrupted audio from anyone 
it can make and train a pretty decent AI model on it that sounds pretty good. Now, imagine that extended to a professional level where, holy shit, it's going to sound very close to the real artist. That's alarming. You'll never know no. if the music... Vocaloid did this, but they had no fans before becoming a Vocaloid. That's the thing, though. I think they don't understand this. The difference between Vocaloid is that Vocaloid didn't have a lot of fans of that thing before it became a Vocaloid. It started as a Vocaloid. Like Hatsune Miku. I love Hatsune, I love Hatsune Miku. Okay. This is, a, this is, I'm pretty this is full Vocaloid. This is my favorite song. World is mine. But this star is a Vocaloid. Guys, guys, you guys are missing the point. You guys are missing the point. You guys are missing the point. There's a crowd of people that are fans of, of this, right? Which, it, 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 I, I, I don't think it's bad music. And the whole voice thing is all fake. These are all fans of this, but this is nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? And now they're gonna turn actual humans and actual human voices and famous people's voices into this. But now it has a lot of fans already. So this is like a vehicle for expansion, it's crazy. The music you're hearing was actually created by humans or just AI. AI is actually extremely good at creating songs themselves. There's entire channels dedicated to just AI generated music and it can do pretty much every genre. And that even includes like metal. It, it, there's actually some pretty fucking hardcore AI generated metal tracks out there right now. So for the music industry, you could have AI make all of the songs and only rely on reference vocals. So you wouldn't even need to like pay an artist to perform or make an album. You would just pay an artist to come into the studio one time or maybe even a handful of times if you really want like a perfect model to record these reference audio samples and then they would just use that forever to make full albums based on that. And that artist would never actually make the songs themselves. They'd just kind of be the face of it. Meanwhile, Chat. AI is doing what happens when everybody's filing DMCA claims like crazy, right? And the system is so clogged, there's nothing they can do about it. It's so clogged for the DMCA requests and claims and takedowns and counterclaims. It's just, the system becomes just bugged up. They can't do shit about it. All of it. And not to sound like a tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist, but I really do think this will end up being the reality of the music industry uh, in the future. Because it'll just end up being oh! cheaper, like more- So then they have AI court with an AI judge with AI fucking jury and they, then they run it on a fucking AI Zoom call, right? And all the fucking cases are going to AI process. Or financially viable for these major labels instead of hiring like bands or artists to make the music and perform it. They'll just save money by having AI do Think about that. all of it and then just using the voice models they've trained. Because as this technology continues to develop, it's going to be easier to use and cheaper as well. So that's just my bold prediction here. I got a fantasy that's beautiful, that's dark and twisted. But I attacked the whole religion all because of my ignorance. What was I thinking? That was some bitch shit. I lost Adidas, but I'm still Yeezy. Back in the kitchen, man, I'm a genius. Boys in the hood, just like I'm easy. Kanye, Wheezy, Southside of Chicago, life ain't easy. All praise be to Lord Jesus, Donda, please rest easy. Yeah. I got a fantasy that's beautiful, that's dark and twisted. But I attacked the whole religion all because of my ignorance. What was I thinking? That was some bitch shit. I lost Adidas, but I'm still Yeezy. Back in the kitchen, man, I'm a genius. Boys in the hood, just like I'm easy. Kanye, Wheezy, Southside of Chicago, life ain't easy. It's not bad at all. all. Praise be to Lord Jesus, Donda, please rest easy. All right, let me cut it there. Let me cut it there. Pretty spooky stuff, and I think it's under. Yeah, yeah this is good, and and th this is just one guy. This is not like a team of like engineers and producers and crazy people that are. That's just, that's just one guy in his basement or whatever. So I think it, it sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty accurate too. It's not bad at all. It is actually pretty good. It, this is one guy. Many when many with the funding, the money, the companies are behind it, the teams are skilled people. Then it becomes insane. I, I don't think it's understandable. A lot of people on Twitter were pretty unsettled by it. And I, I also agree with quite a few people on Twitter that pointed out that it's pretty diabolical to put a bar about Ye's deceased mother in here and then have AI Ye rap it for you. 
I think that's pretty weird. But it does lead me to something else I'd like to briefly mention, even though it's not directly related to the AI in the music industry per se. It is just AI voice models in general. I've talked about this a lot, but going forward, as these continue to become better and better, you can have these AI models say anything. So pretty soon, when you hear like audio recordings that are leaked of politicians. China, now we need, all we need is AI to, um, uh, AI bot on all platforms that detects when something is an AI and tells you, okay, this is made by AI. So that, so that people can't like fully, um, like impersonate and damage somebody's life and somebody's person. Or uh, movie stars or something. You're gonna have to take all of that with a grain of salt because pretty soon all of that's going to be very easily faked. I actually made a video showcasing some AI voice models for Obi Wan Kenobi, for example. No, I do think I do think that uh, uh, for court stuff, I would assume that video and stuff it will still be admissible because um, of the metadata. I think metadata is very important. I think metadata is all that is all that matters where he was talking about Ahsoka's uh, orange pussy and how she was one of the finest meat Jedis, er, uh, meat saber wielder Jedis in the entire temple and, and stuff like that. Like, it'd be very easy to just have these AI models say anything to try and get people in trouble or try and start shit online. Like, it could go easily beyond shit posting where it's just like jokes to a point where, hmm, you can really kind of fuck someone with it. And keep in mind, this is the worst that AI will ever be. In just a few years, basically every popular musician will have multiple trained models of them. And also the UI, the front end of this, is all gonna get a lot simpler. Again, he's 100% right. We are currently in the worst stage AI will ever be. It's only going to get better yeah. and significantly better. It's already getting huge steps forward every couple of months. It just gets more and more mind-blowing what AI is capable of. You're going to be listening to songs by your favorite artists that are completely indistinguishable. You're not going to know whether it's them or not. And I'm just starting to think of all the good, all the bad that's going to come out of this. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments, so drop those below. Oh, I'll let you know what I think, all right. I'll give you a piece of my mind and it won't be a comment. It's a whole video. Uh, I think there's not a lot of good that comes from the AI voice models in the music industry in particular. Guys, I don't see many positives. Now, I know there's people that will probably try and spin an argument that it's great because now you can have deceased artists still releasing new tracks thanks to the AI technology. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for example... Wait, but before everybody gets crazy, this is all for things that aren't, like, really moving and have all the pieces that are set. But when you think about, like, let's say videos and shit, it's, I mean, that's impossible. You can't AI something like walking in the street, making a print, and with other humans. I think that'll still hold value, if not more. You get it? Example, Michael Jackson already has a few AI voice models that are pretty good. So you could release new Michael Jackson tracks, but I would argue that's not a good thing. Like that to me is kind of fucked up. He's dead. He can't consent to having new tracks come out post-mortem here. It just feels so creepy and disgusting. Why, that's true actually. Like fucking his corpse like a necro- And who's gonna fight for him too? Let's say an artist who, who, who was like- not broke, but isn't like rich. There's not people that are hired to battle for them, even though they're dead. Who's who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight the people that are copying his voice and making new shit with it? And how they're gonna get paid? Prophiliac for the sake of making money off of new tracks from his name. It, it just it doesn't feel right. The, the artist is gone, and the music they made should rest with them. That's the music the they poured their heart and soul in. Not everybody. Is that rich? At one point, it will run empty. You need to realize that the world war, the the world is paid to win, and the world on money. At one point, it will be empty. They made that with their own blood, sweat, and tears, and to dig them up with these voice models and have them releasing tracks that they had no part in making is just, I think, wrong. I don't think that's a good thing. To me, I just really feel like that ruins and belittles all of the hard work they put into their career before they died. It just kind of dismantles the whole legacy because then there's new tracks coming out that they didn't make and they might be shit. I, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of that. Let me give you another example, one that pertains very personal to me. Linkin Park. I love Hybrid Theory and I love Meteora. Chester Bennington has passed away, unfortunately. And I would be extremely upset if they started to use AI voice models in order to have Chester Bennington 
deliver vocals on new Linkin Park tracks that I start coming like out. They have recently released two new tracks, but Minecraft. those are tracks that were actually recorded by Chester himself. So those tracks still have the very human element to it that I can appreciate. So if they, you know, five years from now start releasing new Linkin Park tracks with Chester Bennington doing the vocals, I wouldn't like that. I, I really would feel like that spit in the face of all of the incredible work that he had done throughout his career. So I, I'm, I don't see that as a benefit, and that's like the only argument I could see people making for a good thing that can come from the AI voice models in the Poop music industry. Everything else I think is just negatives. You'll have significantly less people entering the industry because they have to compete with all of these mega corporations uh, that are just- Because the execution, the way it's done, his take on, 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 the, on the lyrics or on the delivery won't be there. It'll all be things that were either already done or being changed by the people who are working with it. It's just trash. Just churning out these massive mainstream hits that are all generated through these AI voice models, you know, from the most popular artists of all time, it'd be very difficult to compete, and most people aren't going to get signed to a label because it'd just be cheaper to use AI in the first place. Interesting. So I just don't see a whole lot of benefits to the music industry for this kind of AI implementation. Now, that's not to say I that mean, I think it should be banned. I'm never really on the side of banning things. That is his morality. People don't give a fuck. I get oh, it. No, no, I get no, it. Maybe no, he no, doesn't no. care. Pe people. I get it. He cares. People won't care. The pe people's morality is at a all time is zero. So I mean, especially when it comes to stifling potential innovations. Maybe I'm just a little short sighted in potential Oof. benefits that this technology could have. Like maybe if the artist themselves wants to start Nails. using the AI Nails. voice models to help complement their work, night, or chance. even you know weave it in with their own you know personality inserted Excuse into it, I could see years. that Excuse. maybe working. But again, I, I just you don't exactly know. But overall, I don't think it should be banned. But I also don't think it offers anything super beneficial to the music industry as a listener of the music i only see the financial benefits to the companies which i don't really give a fuck about the companies you know my heart's not breaking for universal music who has billions of dollars to spend and now just can cut corners using ai technology Chat. to fuck their artists even harder oh my god like Chat, what about movies you know i said you, you can't make a video of with, with, with like terrain and in like a city or whatever because it has to be all ai what if it's not ai what if they get a, an insane model, incredibly advanced, of the of the of the of the actor's face and how how his muscles move a little bit, right? Like if if it's unique, and then and then and, and then and then they get the, the stunt doubles that do everything, but then they become more than stunt doubles. They do most of the acting themselves, and they just replace the face with the AI one that's generated, and then boom, then it's fully not only stunt doubles. It's everything. I just don't see a lot of great things with it, but I do want to highlight the technology itself because holy shit, I cannot believe how quickly all of it is advancing. This AI technology it's is all, it's done. No, there's more. I can't even imagine where it's going to be in the next couple of years. So just wanted to talk about it a little bit again, and that's really about it. See ya. Guys, it's a super motion cap. Super motion cap. But they just do both. Ah, uh, whatever. What else? What else? What else? Good time.